right, we're back. Uh, took about 10 minutes, like I said. But we're not going to delay. They're already actually loading into the game. So we got to get this underway. We're going to head to Yukon uh, first, which you will see by their cams, Parsonal cam. We got double Blake action today. It yeah, looks I, I, good I, to me. <laughs> Coach Pars, Coach Blake, Coach Raider. It's been a while since we've <laughs> seen you, but uh, how are we doing tonight? <laughs> Blake twice. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing great. Sorry about that. I'm I'm getting a little uh, hearing from my cords here that it's kind of skipping a bit. But other than that, uh -oh. we're doing great. Figuring it out. Do they have both of them on here as well? Both of them. No, it's just him and Cappy. Okay. okay. Anyways, so other than that, we're feeling great. We're doing well. We've been talking a lot, game planning for this, and we're Ender's in there. Anyways, we're feeling good. <laughs> Coach Blake, uh, what's the offensive game plan? You know, made your debut two weeks ago. Uh, you know, what did you do in the in the bye week? Um, we taught our players how to score, <laughs> and we're gonna score. And he got a haircut. <laughs> All right. I did indeed. I did indeed. Coach Trader, defense has been great for the past like three seasons. You know, what what should we expect from you tonight? Uh, just more of the same. I think uh, during our bye week, I guess you would call it, we were able to get a few different practices in and just run some, try some different things. So a few new things, but mostly the same. All right. Well, I will leave you all to it. Good luck in the uh, good luck in the game. I'll see you at halftime. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Left and came back. So <laughs> Coach Kernsey, Coach Cappy, how are we feeling tonight? Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, obviously tough opponent, but uh... – We'll see if we can string some drives together and hold them down on defense and get a W. Uh, you know, we had so we had a bye week. Uh, did you do any extra game planning during that bye week for UConn? No, nah, everybody knows what they do. They just uh, run the same stuff like everybody else, and they win. So keep doing what you're doing. Coach Cappy, defensive wise, you know we had a, we saw a solid outing from your defense last time out. Uh, what what changes could we see this week? Um, probably not that much. I mean, I think we do really well in the run game. They have a really strong running game for UConn. Uh, we'll go ahead and see match it up pretty well. Um, DB's got to make interceptions. We got to cover up force fumbles and win the ball game. So, all right. Well, all of you guys to it. Uh, good luck in the game, and I'll see you uh, at halftime. Thank you. All right. While they're getting that ready, um. So you can see there, we got the coin toss, and we are about to be underway. Like I said, Parsh's camera's not working, so you're just going to see Blake tonight also in Coach Parsh's cam. But if we go to UConn's, you will have double Blake. I don't I don't know. It's our full after dark, so might as well. Connecticut won the toss, I believe, and deferred, so Northwest Missouri State will get the ball first as we will be getting underway. From somewhere in Missouri. I don't really know where this school is located. Uh, but yeah. Kick is away for UConn and we're underway from Northwest Missouri State. Return from about two yards deep in the end zone. He breaks his tackle, spins up to the 21. Daniel Glover gets a 22 yard return. And that's where the Bearcats will begin. I. Don't know what Blake's doing up there, but uh, he looks locked in. I think this is, is this the first home game for Northwest Missouri State. I don't think we've seen this. This is their this is their field, obviously. Hand off to the running back. That is Greg Cooper, three yards. It's it's kind of unique. Their midfield logo spans like fifty yards or something. It's weird, but it's, I don't know, kind of dig it, not going to lie. Um, it's different. The Y end zones, though, with the Y out of bounds. When I saw that, I was like, are you sure you want? And I was like, they were like, yeah. It's like, okay. Second and seven. Vince Young keeps it on the read option, and he goes absolutely nowhere. Loses the yard, in fact. Third and eight now for the Bearcats. 
Who is who is Monarch Blake or Guernsey? Third and eight for the Bearcats. Vince Young back to pass. No pressure from UConn. Vince Young trying to escape. He throws off balance. Almost intercepted. And it falls to the ground. Fourth and eight now for Northwest Missouri. And they're going to punt the ball away. Kick is away. We'll return from around the 32-yard line. And he's tackled there. What well, looked like by his potential face mask, but uh, no call there. Double blink action for you guys. I might just take that down, to be honest with you. Um, Anyway, first and 10 for UConn at their own 39. It's going to be a handoff to the running back who will only get back to the line of scrimmage, Daryl Leonard, with nothing on the run. Second and ten for um, UConn. We used to give an audible. It's limited in the backfield. Three seconds on the play clock. They're not going to get this playoff. Delay a game for um, UConn. And that's going to be second and 15 now for the Huskies. Second and 15, man in motion, five wide for Weasley. Man, it's coming on a blitz. It's caught for a gain of about two, actually six yards. Eddie Murphy gets six, but Weasley got lit up on that play. And it's going to be third and long for Connecticut. Third and nine, Weezy back to pass. Pressure coming off the edge is going to be incomplete. Had a man down the field, and Northwest Missouri State forces a three and out. Two three and outs to open the game. Three minutes into the game. Punt is away. We return from the 21 yard line and breaks one tackle, breaks two, gets to around the 29. First and 10, Bearcats. And off of two, or Vince Young on the keeper gets a yard. A second and nine for the Bearcats. This might be a defensive battle tonight. Um, I 
second and nine for Northwest Missouri State. They're going to nine. Vince Anderson is going to be a handout to Cooper. Cooper gets to the first line. He's going to get not enough for the first down, but a third and inches now for Northwest Missouri. Uh, and a very manageable first down here compared to a third and long. Third and inches, Vincent under center at the 39-yard line. QB sneak, did he get there? He did. First down, Bearcats. The first first down of the game for both teams, and we are almost five minutes into the first quarter. Vincent collection pass looking down the field fires. Oh, it's almost intercepted. Should have been picked off. And it's incomplete. Threw it to two Yukon defenders. And it falls to the turf after a deflection. Second and ten. Second and 10 from the 39 yard line. Two receivers left side for the Bearcats. Give me a handout to Cooper who tries to bounce it outside and runs to his own man and loses two yards. Uh, looks like he had a lane there for a second. Reen Candela with the tackle for loss there at third and 12. And we're under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Only three possessions so far, which is a lot less compared to what we saw last game. I think the score was already 14 to 7 at this point. Third and 12. Play clock winding down already at five seconds. Vince Young giving audibles three seconds. He's back to pass, third and 12. Looking down the field, fire is going to be caught. Not enough for the first down. McCrum's just going to go for this. I don't have any doubt in my mind that they're going to go for this on fourth down. And, yep, there that comes the offense. Fourth and inches. Vince Young under center is going to be QB sneak. He is going to get it to the 49-yard line. First and 10. Northwest Missouri State. They used a fourth down attempt in the first quarter, but uh, it might be a you know very good one to use there. From midfield, it looks like, first and 10, Northwest Missouri. Play action pass, Vincent looking down the field, fires, quickly caught, 30 to 35, brush tackle, 30, out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Vince Young is finding his way here in the first quarter, under a minute, one minute to go here, and Northwest Missouri State is threatening.
First and ten, under 30 seconds to go here. Man in motion. Hand off Cooper left side. Tries to get outside. Not going to work. Loses three yards. Outside runs do not work against Connecticut's. Keegan Carter with the tackle for loss. Second and 13 with 15 seconds left. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. 0-0 zero, zero score. Northwest Missouri State looking to open the, the uh, scoring drought here, though. Second on 13 to begin the fourth or third, second quarter. And I'll keep with Vince Young to the 25, to the 20, 15, 10. Tackle from behind at the seven yard line. First and goal. Vince Young in Northwest Missouri State. Just a great call by Kearnsey there. Got some blocks on the outside and upfield. And Vince Young takes it for 26 yards. First and goal, Vince Young, keep her again. Gets outside, no blocks this time. And loses the yard, second and goal for Northwest Missouri State. From the eight, second and goal. Punch on the right side. Handoff Cooper of middle. Cooper's going to find his way to the one yard line. Seven yards for Greg Cooper. Third and goal. And they're going to go hurry up. Third and goal. It's going to be another handoff. Greg Cooper into the end zone. Touchdown, Northwest Missouri State. And it's 7 nothing here early in the second quarter. Kick is up, kick is good. 7 nothing's our score with six minutes to get in the second quarter. Kick is away for the Bearcats, leading UConn 7 to 0. Return from the goal line, re Eddie Murphy getting to the 27. Or 32 yard line, actually. First and 10 for Connecticut. First and 10, a man in motion. It's the running back. Weezy looking, fires down the field. Almost intercepted. Should have been intercepted, but it's incomplete. Keeper by Weasley. Weasley tries to get outside. Doesn't get anything. Only gets a yard. Third and nine for UConn. From their own 32-yard line. Third and nine. 0 for 1 on third downs already. We're already in the five minutes to go in the second quarter. UConn back to pass. Weezy looking. Going to fire down the field. Incomplete. And Northwest Missouri State gets another three and out. And that was only UConn's second drive.
fourth and nine. North Missouri State might be able to kind of drain this to the end of the quarter. And I believe they get ball to begin the second half. Kick is away for UConn. And looking to set up a return. He gets some blockers to the 40. Tackle to the 42 is Unbalance, who has a nice return. North Missouri State up seven with the ball. Five minutes to go in the second quarter. First attempt, Vincent under center, handoff to Cooper. Cooper gets a nice hole, gets almost the first down, gets nine yards, second and one for Northwest Missouri State. And I truly believe they're going to slow it down here and really waste some clock to kind of, you know, put a lot of pressure on UConn, especially if, you know, they score and UConn doesn't have enough time to go put some more points on. Uh, I mean, it could be dangerous for UConn. Second and one, young under center again. It's going to be a handoff to the fullback. That's unbounds who gets five yards. First and ten, Bearcats. Bearcats are going to take their time here. Already putting the play clock at 14 seconds. First and 10. Handoff to Cooper, who only gets two yards. Almost got through the first line there. Hi, Bucky. Second and eight for... The Bearcats. Second and eight for the Bearcats. At the 43 yard line. Vince Young back to pass. F fires incomplete. I'm not really. Defensive pass. It. They called pass interference on UConn. Oh my gosh. That has got to be one of the worst penalties I've ever seen. Uh, Bucky, I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm not in VC right now. Because my PC was. I don't know. My CP was doing something. So. Uh, maybe give me a little bit so I can figure it out. Uh, first and ten for Northwest Missouri State after the defensive pass interference. Um, interesting call there, but you know. First and ten. Play clock at six seconds. Hand off to the running back, Cooper. Cooper gets outside, spins for three yards, second and seven. For Northwest Missouri State, who is chewing a lot of this clock. Second and seven for the Bearcats. Under three minutes to go here. Hand off to Cooper. Cooper gets a nice at five yards. Six yards, third and one for the Bearcats. 2.45 to go.
Third and one from the 36. 220 left to go in the second quarter. This is the Bearcats' second drive. Or third drive, excuse me. Hand off to Cooper. Cooper's going to need to not get the first down. It'll be an interesting decision here for Northwest Missouri State. Do they want to burn their last fourth down attempt or just punt it here? They're going to burn all the clock here. I think they're going to go for it. They are. Fourth and one from the Yukon's 36. I think they're going to QB sneak it. They're going to burn the timeout. Maybe rethink it here. Maybe just trying to draw them off sides. Fourth and one, though. They're going to punt the ball away here. Pin Yukon deep. They've really not been able to beat the ball very much tonight. Punt is away, and that'll be a touchback. Into the end zone for Yukon, getting the stop. And still trailing seven with the ball with a minute 30 to go. Weasley under center. Man of motion is going to be a handoff to the running back. I believe that's Rob Johnson for nothing. Timeout. UConn, second and ten. Play. 10 seconds to go on the play clock, though. Weezy back to pass. Looking fire. is going to be caught by John Jones for six yards. Third and four out of bounds. Got to be careful not to get the ball back with Northwest Missouri State with meaningful time. The clock has stopped right now. Weezy back to pass. Fires again to John Jones. Incomplete. And the Bearcats are going to have plenty of time with two timeouts and in probably minute 10 on the clock. To do something with the ball. Cuts out every replay. Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with that, to be honest with you. Return from the fort. Let's, let's see if, what happens. I mean, it's it's on. I don't know. I don't think it cut out there, did it? We'll see. Mercenton from Northwest Missouri State. A minute to go. Two timeouts. Vince Young was sacked for five yards there, and timeout UConn with a minute five to go. Bounce, 
Second and 15 from their own 27 yard line. And Vince Young is going to hand it off to Cooper. Cooper is going to get a couple yards. Fight for a lot more. Get 11. Third and four. Timeout UConn. A minute to go here. Third and four for Northwest Missouri State. Vince Young looking down the field. Oh, it's almost intercepted. Fourth and four from North Missouri State, and UConn's getting the ball back with 50 seconds left. Fourth and four. Missouri State's going to punt the ball away here. Return from the 25 yard line, gets some blocks to the 30, and. Dana gets 12 yards in return. 47 seconds left. No timeouts for UConn. Trying to get some points before the end of the half. Weezy back to pass. First and 10. Looking down the field. Fire is going to be caught. That's Kyle Morris for... Eight yards, second and two. Clocks are still running. Did not get out of bounds. No timeouts. 30 seconds left for UConn. Weezy back to pass again. Fires. It's going to be caught again. That's John Jones for eight yards. Clock will stop. 24 seconds left. First and 10, UConn. No, uh, they didn't go hurry up, which was interesting. So clock will begin to roll here. First and 10 in Connecticut. 15 seconds left to go. They wasted a lot of time. They're not hurry going hurry up. Weasley, back to pass. Play action pass. Looking down the field. Fires. Caught. Going to be not a first down. That'll do it. They're not going to snap off. And we will go to Connecticut first for the interviews. Once my mouse starts to work. All right, Coach Pars, uh, tough first half. You, Northwest Missouri State kind of limits the possessions there, but what were your takeaways? Well, we had the ball four times. Uh, we were lucky to have it a fourth time. So, anyways, uh, we're just not playing well on offense. Defense gave up, like, crucial first downs. We're getting them in a bunch of third down situations. Hell, two fourth down situations. They're just getting first downs off of run plays up the middle, so we got to figure that out. George is starting to get a bit hot. We've had things wide open. Right, we've had big plays wide open that he's just missing. Uh, so we got to get that figured out. We don't have a run game right now. We need to make them play our game. Right now we're playing their game. If we get a score, we make them play ours. Blake, no points on offense. Weasley kind of struggled early. What are you going to do in the second half to get him going? Well, you know, just going back to our game plan, it was to uh, run the ball and create some opportunities downfield. But we've, like Par said, not been able to establish a run game. Uh, their their run defense has been really stout, forcing us to try and throw the ball. Not had very good quarterback play, but starting to see a little bit better. So hopefully uh, we'll get a little bit more out of Weasley in the second half. Uh, the Raider, you know, besides that first touchdown drive where they kind of just ran the ball, nothing much for Northwest Missouri State. Any adjustments going in the second half? Uh, just hopefully get my communications intact here. I think somebody might have sabotaged my headset. Not going to accuse yeah, anybody of anything. we had bad bombs uh, the entire first half. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully just actually be able to call some plays the second half. Gotcha. Well, I'll let you guys game plan, and I'll see you at the end of the game. Good luck in the second half. Thanks. Coach Kernsey, Coach Cappy, 7 uh, nothing. Probably not a lot of people expected a 7 nothing score, but what were your takeaways from the first half? 
Uh, you know, we're just playing our game. We're just doing what we do. And, you know, we kind of expected a little bit of uh, better offense out of uh, Connecticut, but uh, they must be having some problems over there. So, you know, we'll take it and uh, we'll keep them down and defense will keep uh, doing what they do and see if we can score some more points. Coach Cappy, your defense has held UConn to zero points. Any adjustments going in the second half? Are you going to keep doing what you've been doing? Um, I mean, they kind of started passing the ball a little bit more there at the end. Um, obviously, these guy, the guys don't know how to get out of bounds. So, uh, obviously, they're a little frustrated about that. Um, kind of wasted all their time. But they got So, I've assumed they're probably going to get their quarterback going up here um, very, very soon. But um, not really any major adjustments. Just got to get some takeaways. Parker should have had one. Um, and we're just going to keep trotting through to our, play our game. All right. I'll let you guys game plan, and I'll see you after the game. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. All right. Well, 7 nothing. UConn's getting the ball. Uh, and, yeah. Let's see if for the second week in a row we have a upset. Uh, currently, UConn is on upset alerts, but I won't finish it out to the fourth quarter. Kick us away from Northwest Missouri State. And UConn will get the ball. From the goal line tackle at the 21 is Eddie Murphy. And as you can see there, Bearcats have had the number 38 total yards for this UConn offense in the first half. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to guess they're both connected in there, but I don't really know. It's a great question. Handoff no keeper by that's a running that's a wildcat formation that's Leonard to the 40 yard line Blake bringing out the Wildcats and that's first and ten to Connecticut that should maybe hopefully for UConn give them a spark on the offense they need uh, it's a great play call had a gap on the left side first and ten Connecticut What I lie about. Hand off to Leonard. Leonard gets outside. Leonard's going to bounce this way. Hey, he follows the ball. It's recovered by the Bearcats. <coughs> now, he might be down. The Bearcats don't really seem to be excited there, but. Uh, yeah, I thought they were, to be honest. Yeah, booth review. It's coming back. Uh, Connecticut will get the ball. It'll be like second and one. Ooh. He's down. He's down. He's down. Barely. He's down, but it's close. All right. It is reversed. UConn's getting the ball back. It's going to be second and two. And there goes the conservative big run. Second and two, keeper by Weasley. Weasley trying to bat outside, gets the first down, and just a little bit more, four yards on the play. First and ten, Connecticut. From the Bearcats 47 yard line. Man, the motion is Eddie Murphy. It's going to be another triple option play. Weasley pitches it. Oh, it's almost fumbled there. That was not a good pitch by Weasley there. But Murphy hangs on. It's second and six now for the Huskies. Collection pass, Weasley looking down the field, fires down the field, it's got a man open, check down, Eddie Murphy, 13 yards, first down, Connecticut. Yeah. 
20, or, uh, first and 10, Connecticut, throw, uh, UConn, or Northwest Missouri State's four, 32. Leonard gets the handoff, gets nine yards, second and one for the Huskies. Second and one. Okay, now Flittered. Who gets the first down? Three yards on the carry. First and ten, Connecticut. And for the first time all night, they are in range to score. Wildcat Leonard this time loses a yard. Northwest Mr. Trey adjusted and was able to stop them behind the line. Second and 11 for Connecticut. Easy back to pass, second and 11. Fires to the end zone, incomplete. Out of bounds, wasn't really anywhere close, and it's third and 11 for Connecticut now. Third and 11 for the Huskies at NW, MSU's 21. Weezy looking, fires, caught first down to the five. To the one yard on Eddie Murphy, 18 yards. Right over the middle route for Connecticut and Eddie Murphy and they get first and goal. At the one yard line for the Huskies. Heavy eye Leonard handoff. Doesn't get in. He gets to the one yard line. Second and goal for Connecticut. Second and goal from the one yard line. Already three minutes to go here in the third quarter. QB sneak touchdown, George Weasley. And we are going to be tied at seven with ten minutes remaining in this game. Kick is up, kick is good. Seven to seven is our score. With 3.16 left to go in the third quarter. Need in the end zone. Bearcats get the ball at the 25 yard line. Looking to retake the lead here. First and ten for the Bearcats who get five yards from Cooper. Second and five.
Second and five for the Bearcats at the 30-yard line. Hand off Cooper on the outside. Cooper gets the edge, gets the first end of the 37-yard line. Seven yards for Greg Cooper. From the 37, first and 10, Bearcats. Bunch set on the right side. Hand off Cooper in the backfield. Oh, he gets a yard, fights his way for a yard. Second and nine for the Bearcats. Second and nine, shotgun formation for the Bearcats at their own 38-yard line. Collection pads, Young fires to his tight end, who fights his way for two more yards. Third and seven now for Northwest Missouri State. Third and seven. Two back set for the Bearcats. It's going to be a speed option. Vidsung pitches it, and they lose two yards. And this time, that play does not break for 30 yards, and the Bearcats are going to punt the ball away. Kick is away, and UConn's got the ball back with 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. As Dan returns it for eight yards, UConn scored in the last drive. Can they do it again to take their first lead of the night? From the 34, first and 10 Connecticut. Hand off Leonard. Leonard gets the first and more to the 40-yard line. Second and four for the Huskies. From the 41s to be the last play of the third quarter here. Hand off Leonard again. He gets outside. We'll get the first down to the 48-yard line. And that's where we are going into the fourth quarter. UConn's got the momentum and the ball trying to go take the lead. First and 10, Connecticut, their own 47. Maryland I for the uh, Huskies. Collection pass, Weasley looking down the field, nothing coming open. Fires to his running back who breaks free out of the backfield who only gets four yards, second and six for UConn. Second and six, Leonard in motion. Weasley back to pass, gonna take off a run. Sacked by the defensive line, it'll be third and 11. Third 
Third and 11 for the Bearcats. Collection pass, we looking down the field. Fire is going to be caught. First down as Dana turns up the field. It gets to the 38. 16 yards on the reception. And a first down for the Huskies. First and ten, double stack for the Huskies. <coughs> they switch to play. Bunch set on the right side for Connecticut. It's going to be a collecting pass. Weezy looking fires incomplete to absolutely nobody. Second and ten. Second and 10 with 522 left to go in the fourth quarter. Bearcats had a 7 0 lead for most of the game until UConn scored three minutes to go in the third quarter. And Weasley loses two yards on the run, and it's third and 12 for the Bear or for the Huskies. Bearcats trying to get off the field here. But last time we had a third and long, the Huskies were able to convert five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Third and 12 for the Huskies. Weasley's back to pass. Looking, hit, actually throws the ball, launches down the field, out of bounds, incomplete. And UConn is going to have to potentially punt the ball away here. Did we actually get 500 subs? Let's go. All right. So now, go subscribe to TPA Boys, and we can announce uh, something that's coming, as Gage said, in 2024. As the um, punt goes in the end zone, first and 10, Northwest Missouri State with a chance to go win the game. And out to Cooper, who goes nowhere, loses two yards. Second and 12 for the Bearcats. Second and 12, 420 to go. Vince Young back to pass, looking, looking. Hit as he throws the ball, it's incomplete, threw, out, threw it away. Third and 12, Bearcats. UConn can get the ball back here with a quick three and outs. Can Vince Young find some of that matching he had in the first half to get this first down? Third 
Third and 12. Bunch set on the right side for the Bearcats. Vinny in motion. Vince back to pass through. Rush for UConn. It's intercepted at the 21 yard line. That's going to be a pick six. Five. Touchdown, Connecticut. UConn takes the lead. Vince Young's first mistake all game long. The defender just read that ball perfectly and it's intercepted. And UConn retakes or takes to their first lead of the Knights. Three fifty six left to go. UConn leads for the first time all night. Return from about two yards deep in the end zone. Getting some blockers. Two around the 22 is a Glover. Now Northwest Missouri State's got 3.53 to go. Three timeouts and around 80 yards to try to tie this game up. Five wide receivers for Vince Young. Back to pass. It's going to be a sack. Tried to take off and just could not get away. Uh, I do not see the name, Reed. I think it was you. It was number eight. I didn't see the name though. Five wide, second and 15 for uh, the Bearcats. Point in motion behind Vince Young. Four man rush for Connecticut. Vince Young fires down the field, incomplete. Had a man coming free. Just could not get it there. Third and 15 for the Bearcats. Third and 15 for the Bearcats here. Vince Young back to pass looking down the field. Nothing coming open. Fires. Has a man. It's caught at the 45 yard line. Law Ramsey gets 28. First and 10 for the Bearcats at the 44 yard line. Handoff. Cooper's going to fight his way for nine yards. Second and one for the Bearcats past midfield. At the 46-yard line for a second and one. Handoff. Cooper's going to get the first out of Moore to the 40-yard line. Five-yard rush for Cooper. 2.47 to go. Cooper handoff up the middle. Cooper bounces. Oh, no. He's going to lose yards. He had four yards and then turned around and lost one. Second and 11 now. What a mistake by Greg Cooper there. Second 11 from the 42 yard line. Play action pass, Vincent fires quickly, caught, turns up field, first down, and more to the 28. Anthony Quinn gets 14 yards. 2.12 left to go. Vince Young hands off to Cooper. Cooper up the middle, that's not Cooper. Glover gets seven yards. Second and three. We're under two minutes to go here in Missouri. Vince Young, speed option, tries to get outside, doesn't go anywhere, loses two yards, in fact, third and five for the Bearcats. Two downs to get the first down here. B 
You can take a look at the sideline. Now he's ready. Back to pass. Third and five. Going to take off a run. Going to get sacked. Loses four yards. This might be the game. Fourth and nine for the Bearcats. Fourth and nine. From the 26, minute 15 to go here. Not over if they don't pick it up, but it's looking very unlikely. Fourth and nine. They're letting a lot of clock run here. I don't really know what they're doing. Is it not letting them call a play? Now this is it. This is the game right here. Fourth and nine for the Bearcats. From the 26, fourth and nine, a minute to go here. Three receivers right side, one to the left. Hey, they may not get this playoff. They're taking too long on audibles. Oh, they get it off. Play action pass. Pressure coming. Vince Young launches down the field. Incomplete. That'll probably do it. UConn's going to hang on and survive tonight. I don't think it's technically over. That they can just kneel it out. I mean... Let's see if they're going to start calling timeouts. Uh, they will not. We're going to head to Connecticut once this gets under 40 seconds. That's when you know it's over. Okay, now it's over. Coach Pars, Coach Blake, Coach Raider. Survived is probably the word to use tonight. But Pars, what were your takeaways from tonight? You know what? This, dude, this team is like upsetting me greatly. All right, we went... This is three wins in a row, but three wins where we've played worse than the other team, in my opinion. We've won by a single score both, all three times, right? So we might be 3-0, and but we got to get something going. The defense is it's there, right? So the offense in the first half, it's not Blake. It's not anyone's fault, but it's Weasley's. The offense in the first half is so bad that we can't hit a pass. We can't just count on Raider to hold teams to nothing while we try to come back in games. Yeah, Coach Blake. Weasley got player of the game. Four, With 88 yards. 14 <laughs> points in the second half. Well, seven points. One was a pick six by Raider. But offense still really couldn't get a lot going. Any adjustments going into next week? Well, first off, shout out to our defensive coordinator for winning us this game. Uh, second thing, you know, I felt like we started to get a feel of our running game uh, in this game. We started to figure it out slowly, but the quarterback play wasn't keeping up. Um, but we'll get it figured out. As always, we're going to keep practicing, uh, keep trying to figure out what works. And then Raider, once again, defense bails out UConn. Uh, what, what, if any, I mean, you, know, you may not have any. Are you gonna, What adjustments are you going to make going next week? I, I really don't have any. I'm really thrilled with the playbook we have going and just the plays we're calling. Uh, shout out to Pars for knowing what to call when my comms were dropping out. Uh, so we're just we've always been on that wavelength that we know what to call when the other one isn't able to and yeah just keep doing that because uh i don't know i don't know what else i could fix to be honest all right well we will see you next week congrats on the win and i don't know who you play but we'll see you then thanks coach kernsey coach cappy just could not get it done uh what were your takeaways from tonight quarterback play in this league and when teams get scared, they go to all their cheese. So, you know, teams do what they got to do to win, and that's cool. Um, you know, our quarterback is ass. We know that. We have to try to work around it. When we get behind, we have to pass. We have no shot. So, 
that's just the way it goes. Our defense didn't uh, get a turnover today like we needed. Their defense did because of our shitty quarterback. So, you know, it's the way it goes. We just keep on trucking. Coach Gaffey holding UConn to seven points. Uh, you know, what were your thoughts on that? Any changes going into next week? Um, you know, I, I would say they ha- they had some good halftime adjustments. I thought, you know, they were a little more pass heavy, but they kind of stuck to the run, and I had to get back to it. Um, they kind of ran the ball really well there in the second half. They went some some wildcats. They looked for some their like open seam routes. Um, just try to get to it. I mean, obviously our linebacker play needs to get a little bit better because they hit it over the middle a few times. But um, I think we just kind of do what Coach Kearney says, just kind of keep trucking. Um, I think we do have something here. Um, I know he's, I mean, him are not happy with the quarterback play, but we just got to find a way to get him going. Um, I think our running offense is great. And if I'm looking at the offense side of things, uh, defense has been pretty solid. So we just got to keep trucking and, you know, move on next week. All right. Well, not sure you guys play next week, but we'll see you then. Um, yeah. All righty. All right, guys. Um, that's all we got for tonight. Pars will be, I think, streaming tomorrow night. Not really sure, though. Um, but, yeah, that's all we got from tonight on the Wednesday Night Doubleheader. And appreciate you guys getting us to 500 on this channel. Uh, but, yeah, we will see you tomorrow night for the last two weeks or last two games of week three.